Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between ultrasonic machining and electric discharge machining. Ultrasonic machining is a subtractive manufacturing process that removes material from the surface of a part through high frequency, low amplitude vibrations of a tool against the material surface in the presence of fine abrasive particles. Electrical discharge machining is a controlled metal removal process that is used to remove metal by means of electric spark erosion. In this process an electric spark is used as the cutting tool to cut, or erode, the workpiece to produce the finished part to the desired shape. So, let's look into the basic differences between ultrasonic machining and electric discharge machining in a tabular form. Difference number 1 Ultrasonic machining is one mechanical energy-based non-traditional machining process, whereas, electric discharge machining is one thermal energy-based non-traditional machining process. Number 2. The mechanism of material removal in ultrasonic machining is impact erosion, whereas, the mechanism of material removal in electric discharge machining is high temperature melting and vaporization. Number 3. In ultrasonic machining, Material is removed in solid state in the form of micro debris, whereas, in electric discharge machining, material is removed in molten and gaseous form. Number 4. In ultrasonic machining, no electrical connection is made with the workpiece. Thus, workpiece is not a part of any electric circuit. In fact, no such circuit exists in ultrasonic machining, whereas, in electric discharge machining, the workpiece is made one electrode. It is connected with the positive terminal of the power source to receive electrons of the spark. Number 5. Ultrasonic machining process can be applied to any workpiece material regardless of its electrical properties, whereas, electric discharge machining process can be applied to electrically conductive materials only. Number 6. In ultrasonic machining, the tool is made of ductile but tough and abrasion resistant material such as steel, whereas, in electric discharge machining, the tool electrode can be made of high conductive metals, metallic alloys, non-metallic materials, or even metal and non-metal alloys, like copper, brass, tungsten, graphite, etc. Number 7. In ultrasonic machining, an abrasive slurry, abrasive particles suspended in a liquid medium, is allowed to flow through the narrow gap between the shaped tool and the workpiece, whereas, in electric discharge machining, a suitable dielectric fluid is circulated in the narrow gap between the shaped electrode and workpiece. Number 8. Ultrasonic machining process capability and performance depend greatly on the mechanical properties of the workpiece material, such as ductility, strength, hardness, etc., whereas, electric discharge machining process performance is not influenced by the mechanical properties of the workpiece material. Number 9. No heat generation takes place in ultrasonic machining process. Workpiece temperature rise is usually limited to 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, that usually confines to a thin surface layer, whereas, owing to intense and repeated electric spark formation, significant heat is generated locally in electric discharge machining process. The localized temperature on the workpiece surface may even exceed 10,000 degrees Celsius. Note that bulk heating does not occur in electric discharge machining process. Number 10. Machine surfaces are free from thermal damages as significant temperature change does not occur during ultrasonic machining process, whereas, in electric discharge machining, a thin thermally damaged layer exists on the machine surface owing to very high localized temperature rise cased by the striking of spark. Number 11. In ultrasonic machining, a thin layer of machine surface experiences mechanical damage as the abrasives repeatedly strike such surfaces during machining. Pertinent damages include grain deformation, residual stress in built, etc., whereas, in electric discharge machining, machine surfaces are free from mechanical damages as these exists no solid-to-solid -solid physical contact during machining. Number 12. In ultrasonic machining, recast layer, that is, Resolidification of molten metal does not form on the machine surface, whereas, in electric discharge machining, incomplete vaporization and improper flushing increase the chance of recast layer formation on the machined surface. Number 13. 
ultrasonic machining process is associated with the risk of abrasive embedment on the finished surface, especially when the workpiece is ductile. Ultrasonic machining is particularly suitable for brittle and non-metallic materials, whereas, no scope of abrasive embedment in electric discharge machining process. And, difference number 14, ultrasonic machining has no fire hazard as such, whereas, electric discharge machining is associated with risk of fire hazard owing to the presence of combustible dielectric, 